Hey everyone, thanks for watching this video. It's Dan Robles here at EID in San Diego. I want to record a video to show you how to uh, not only set up your grades to transfer from Canvas or Instructor into the PowerSchool Gradebook app, but also this can be kind of a remedial thing if you need to go back and fix something if you have found that your grades are not transferring correctly. So I had an opportunity this morning and I say opportunity because a mentor of mine always told me that there's no such thing as problems, only opportunities to fix things and make things better. And well, today I had something to fix and an opportunity to record this video and show you how to definitively fix your grades to transfer from Canvas into the PowerSchool Gradebook app. So the problem or well, the issue that was brought to my attention by one of my students earlier today is that her grade in PowerSchool was not matching her grade in Canvas. You've seen this before. Many times it could be just because you haven't finished grading something in Canvas and you grade things in Canvas. Students do their assignments in Canvas, right? You grade them in Canvas, you push them from Canvas into PowerSchool, but you usually never push them. This is like common practice from when I talk to people. You never push your grades out from Canvas into PowerSchool until you finish grading them for everybody or maybe until the end of the week or whatever your practice is that you do. Uh, so it's possible at times for students to have a discrepancy when not everything is graded yet or not everything has been transferred from Canvas into PowerSchool. This morning it was different. And what was different this morning is that the student that brought it up to my attention that her grade wasn't matching and she wasn't understanding why and I didn't at first either actually when I logged in to look at the grade book is that her assignments and all of my students actually, their assignments were being imported into PowerSchool or into Gradebook into different assignment categories that I actually did not create, I've never used, and don't plan on using. And I, it's not the first time I've seen this either. Um, and I've talked to other people where they've had at times when they import grades, have uh, Gradebook or PowerSchool automatically generate some categories that are not the categories that they have set up and the categories that they are using. So the first thing that you have to do, if you have an issue like that, and I, I'm going right back to the basement right now and I deleted all of my grades starting with a fresh grade book right now and I'm able to do that because in Canvas Canvas is kind of like I'll call it the cloud for your grades right now it backs everything up all of your grades are in Canvas so I never have any fear of deleting my grade book and I can go back and post grades from Canvas into grade book and then everything will be fine again as long as it's set up correctly the way I'm going to show you right now so the first thing you want to make sure is that you have the grade categories that you're actually using and they're correct. I've left one of these in here. This projects category, I didn't make it, I don't use it, I don't plan on using it. PowerSchool or Gradebook automatically generated it when I was pushing grades into the Gradebook from Canvas and I actually, I can't even delete it. I don't know why. It doesn't matter if you know, please leave a comment below. So. You want to make sure that your assignment or grade categories match Canvas and that the percentages or the grade scale for them matches as well. Here's how you can do that. So I'm going to go back into Canvas and here's my grades. So again, we're a few weeks into the semester. My students have done a bunch of stuff already and everything's backed up and recorded in Canvas. And when we're ready and this is fixed, we're just going to go back and click that post grades button once it's set up and then everything will populate again into the gradebook for PowerSchool. So I'm gonna go back over here to my assignments. And you wanna make sure that all of your assignment groups, I have four of them that I'm using only, participation, assignments and projects, assessments and quizzes, and the engineering notebook for this engineering class, that those four assignment or grading categories match perfectly in the following three things. So spelling and uppercase and lowercase, because that's kind of only one and then also the percentage or the weight of that category. So the first of these is participation. I'm gonna go back into PowerScore Gradebook and I have a category named participation. And that category, I have given it a percentage value of 5%. The way you do that in PowerSchool, excuse me, in Canvas, is up here on the right hand side, assignment settings you got to check this box that says assignment group weights you want to make sure that weight final grade based on assignment groups is checked and it'll let you put in those percentages very similar to the way you put them into 
create Vector Power School. So I have my four categories. I'm making sure that everything is spelled correctly. If there's a space somewhere, that space perfectly matches. So I have a space here between engineering and notebook. That's a space, the lowercase and uppercase symbols. Everything has to perfectly match. As long as it perfectly matches, it should perfectly transfer into gradebook. I'm going to cancel out of that right now because I had already set it up. So 5%, 65, 20, and 10. Now back in the gradebook for Power School, I have these set up in here. I have the four categories that I'm going to be using. And you got to do one more step in here. In grade setup, you're going to be going into your grading term that you are in. And it gives you a few options, but you want to pick this, category weights. And you're picking category weights because that's the way that Canvas pushes them out into Gradebook. So I've checked category weights, and I have that set up already in here. I'm going to actually go back over into a different class period, and I'll be able to show you how to do that setup. So again, we're selecting category weights, and we're going to add a category. Now when you add these categories here, you're actually adding them from what you have previously generated. And you know that I'm using four, and those four do not include that project that was made by itself. Okay, so my four categories are in there, and then I'll double click in here and put in the percentages for the category weights. And you can do this by doing it a couple different ways. You can put in the percentage without the percentage symbol. You can put in 0.65 if you want. I'm just going to type in the percentage. So 65% for assignments and projects, 10% for the notebook. I do 5% for participation and 20% of my class for quizzes and assessments. Now you'll notice that when I click out of this, all these percentages are all out of whack. So all you need to do is actually just click in the boxes and then those percentages will update and then you're fine. I'm gonna go over here and save this. And then now that class period for period one in this case, the category weights, the category names of punctuation, the space in between engineering and notebook, and the weights or percentages, everything perfectly matches. So I can go back over to the score sheet in Canvas. Again, I still don't have any grades in here. And we're going to go over back into PowerSchool and then show you how to push them out over into your gradebook. By the way, this whole setup that I'm talking about right now, um, it usually requires an admin person who has enrolled your students into Canvas and those rosters in Canvas are typically coming out of PowerSchool if your school site admin people have done that correctly. Um, so I'm going to go back into grades. I have all these assignments that I've graded already and everything's backed up and saved for me. And then all I'm going to do is click post grades. Oh wait, there's one more step I have to do in between. We have to go back right now to assignments. And I'm going to expand one of these categories. Not that one. I'm going to expand one of these categories. And this is one of the places that you can enable for grades to send over into PowerSchool. So remember earlier I was talking about how sometimes there'll be a discrepancy in grades between what you've graded and what you've pushed out into PowerSchool. Well, everything that is synced or enabled to SIS, I can't remember what SIS stands for, is enabled to push over into the gradebook. So right now I actually have only one assignment enabled for each of my categories minus the engineering notebook which there's no grading for yet one assignment enabled for each of these categories to transfer into the gradebook when I push that post grades button from the canvas gradebook into PowerSchool so I should have three assignments that get pushed over for three of my categories and nothing in the engineering notebook category let's see if it's working the way it's supposed to so I'll click post grades so up here in the top right corner and it's telling me hey you have three assignments ready to post again these three are the three that I enable that link to SIS clicking post grades it's going to give us a little notification okay success you have something and your grades have posted to gradebook okay good I'm happy let's go back and check if it really worked Oh, there's nothing there. Okay, so do I need to log out and open it, log back in again or something? No, you can go over here, top left corner to file, ref refresh class info, and here we go. They started populating. Now I see one of those assignments has grades for it, and the others do not. This will often happen when you first sync grades from Canvas into PowerSchool, and you just got to give it a few minutes to let it catch up. 
I'll refresh class info again and see if those grades start showing up. Okay, now they're all there. Now this is one of the little weird things that PowerSchool will do by itself without any interaction of your part and that you sometimes need to go back and fix and give a little bit of attention and make sure it's correct. Now, I do all my grading based on points. Usually my assignments are worth out of 10 points. It's easier to grade things that way, easier to manage rubrics. And right now, this assignment imported as percentages. Is that gonna affect it or change the student's grades in some way? Not really, but I want it to match. So I'll double click this and change it from score type from percentage to points. So it matches the way it looks in, in the grading that I'm doing in Canvas. And I'll do the same thing for this other one. Now, one thing I'll point out really quick, just while I have this opportunity, is that you will have to do that part where I'm editing that and changing it for percentage to points. You would have to do that for every class period. So here's another class period. Again, this category, for whatever reason, came in as percentages. This one came in as points, the way it should be. This one percents again, so I'm clicking, changing it to points, saving clicking, changing into points, and saving. So I'm satisfied right now. Um, my students' grades are transferring back over. If I look at the categories that these are in, so the intro index card is in participation. If I went back to Canvas and look at my assignments, the intro index card is in the participation category. The intro index card is worth five points and the participation category is worth five points. And I can go back over here and audit it or compare against PowerSchool or Gradebook. The intro index card assignment is in the participation category. It's worth five points. So my grades are transferring correctly. I'll be able to sleep tonight and my students hopefully will be able to sleep as well. And I won't have any more kids upset at me tomorrow morning when their grades don't match. So thanks for watching the video. Uh, feel free to leave me a comment if you have more questions on how to do this. Shout out to Mr. Liddick that showed me the refresh class info when I was going crazy one day thinking that my grades weren't transferring over. If they ever are not, after you've done that setup, just go back, click that refresh, and you should be good, and your grades will start populating it. Anyways, have a good one, and I'll see you in class. Bye.